Hey, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about MEM0 and how to integrate it with Autogen. If you're asking what MEM0 is, that's a great question. I'm going to explain that to you. But recently it has taken off and I think it is an amazing memory management tool for your AI agents. Well, if you can see here, MEM0 between July and August has really taken off on GitHub and has almost 22,000 stars right now. What is MEM0? Well, it provides a smart self-improving memory layer for the LLMs. So basically every time a customer or somebody is talking to your AI, it's going to evolve with each interaction. And MEM0 uses a hybrid database approach where it combines vector, key value, and graph databases. And what you see here is a clip uh, from their website where I had named a MEM0 client called Customer Service Bot. And so when I had this interaction with them, which we'll see in the code, it actually stored 13 memories. Now it didn't store every single conversation, it stored what it thought would be useful for later on when we're interacting with the customer. Some of the use cases include AI assistants and agents, personalized learning, customer support, healthcare, and so forth. And what you can kind of notice here is all of this is to really help personalize the experience with that customer. So let's take a sample conversation. So here, basically we're saying, what are the best travel destinations in the world? I'm saying I want to travel to San Francisco. And then the assistant is giving me, you know, giving us all this list of travel places that we can go to and travel tips. So then when I ask it again, show me hotels around the Golden Gate Bridge, it does that. It shows me all these hotels, okay? And at the very bottom, we add, we say memory dot add this conversation to a specific ID. So my ID was a customer service spot in the previous slide. And what it's gonna do is add some of the key important information here, such as I wanna travel, I wanted to go to San Francisco and some of the hotels or maybe specifically where I wanna go, such as the Golden Gate Bridge. And now whenever I go to ask another question, what, what's the weather there? So if I were to ask this normally without memory, it would say the current weather in Paris is light rain with temperature 65 degrees. And the thing is, I had no intention of going to Paris, but with MEM0, it went and took relevant facts from the memories. And it says now the current weather in San Francisco is about 59 degrees and gives some more information. So with the memory, it knows that we want to go to San Francisco. And that's what we thought in our head that we want to know where the weather was without actually saying it. Here we are in the editor. And the first thing you will need to do is make sure you have the latest version of Autogen and install MEM0. So we'll We'll say pip install, we can say upgrade uh, pi autogen, and then mem zero AI. Now we're done with that. There's a couple things we need. And the first one is we need our mem zero API key. So let's go ahead and get that. Okay, well, the first thing you're gonna do is go to app.memzero.ai. And once you go in there, it's free, just sign up or log in. And then you'll be greeted with the dashboard. And so this is a little bit going on right now, but uh, it has some nice things here. So the total memories, these are all the memories that I've ever created, which is only 15. Um, you get a thousand API requests per month. And what you can see here is I've added actually 26 events. There's been 26 requests of me saying in the code, add this memory to this user ID, right? So it was the customer service spot was the ID, but it only created 15 memories because those are, it didn't take every single request and thought it was a memory. It just took what was relevant. So on the left here, if you go to users, you can see this is the customer service bot that we had looked at in the PowerPoint. So if I open this up, you know, it can see here all the memories it created based on what it thought was relevant. Okay. So now if we go back to the dashboard, uh, you actually go to the playground here, you can kind of mess around with chatting um, to kind of see how you want to tailor the experience for your customer or for whoever it is, right? Now what we need though is an API key. So at the top right, if you click on your account, then go to API keys, you can create an API key here or copy one if you already created it. Now going back to our code, you would create the .env file create the mem0 API key variable, and then paste that in here. And now we can get to the actual code. So I just created a Best Buy basic Python file. As you can see here, I have a user ID. This is what we'll see on the website once we run this. And we have some imports here. So we have the mem0, uh, autogen, and the .env to load our environment variables for us. And then we're gonna go and create our agent. So we're gonna have the convertible agent. We're gonna give it the name, system message, the config, um, we don't need to execute any code. Uh, there's no functions here and we are never actually gonna be uh, interacting with the client. So then we have to instantiate our memory client from mem0. And what I have here is I have a basic conversation uh, that I'm going to add to the memory. And first off, we're gonna, we're gonna check out to see if it knows anything, um, if it can retrieve the information about what I've ordered, right? So I've ordered this smart Google TV and we're gonna wanna know without 
this added to the memory if it knows that, which it clearly won't. But then we're going to add this to the memory. And how we do that is you take the client that we said and we say dot add memories. And it's just you can have you can add the recent conversations, but we just need to make sure we give it the user ID because we're going to need to retrieve this later for this specific customer interaction or for this specific learning, whatever it may be. This user ID defines uh, the memories for this conversation for a person, entity, whatever it is. And then I had this function called get context aware response, which just takes in a question. So what we want to do is in order for this to work, we have to gather the relevant memories for this user ID based on the question. So for instance, we know that this is a smart Google TV that we are wanting to purchase or what we have purchased. And we want to ask the question something like, what did we purchase, right? And we want to make sure it's the conversation that we had. So we're going to take this context from it. It's going to search for relevant memories on their website that have already been added. Uh, this is just a prompt to say, OK, the previous interactions are the context, the, the memory context. And then this is the question. And then we just basically want to get a reply from the agent, right? And then I just have a simple while so we can just kind of a while statement so we can keep chatting. So what I've done here is I'm just commenting out the conversation. So it's actually not going to know anything about a TV that I bought. So let's go ahead and start our conversation. Let's start the file. So Python Best Buy Basic. And then it should, we're just going to have a sample conversation. I'm going to ask it about the TV, which it actually doesn't know anything about yet. And it, well, it shouldn't know anything. If it does, then I think we have an issue. So hello. Yes, I want to know about the TV I bought. It should say, I have no idea. Could you please provide more details? Um, you should know. OK, so it doesn't know uh, based on, it's, like I said, I don't have any context from previous interactions. OK, and that's the way it should be. So let's go ahead and restart this. Um, instead, this time, we are going to uncomment this out. And whatever we do, we're going to have it add this whole conversation. And then it's right here. It's going to search based on the conversation and this user ID uh, about the TV. And it should know something about it this time. So let's go ahead and run this again. And as it's running it, it will add this to the conversation. So if we actually go back here, we go to users. Here we go. Finally had to refresh it. But now here is the best by service bot because we are running this, right? So right now there are two memories. So if we go into here, you know, it said experiencing horizontal lines on TV. This is like the experience I'm having. And this is the model um, that it can it got from the conversation. So now it knows that this is an important piece of information that it should know. Now, if we go back, I can say. What, uh, what TV did I buy? And as you can see, I just had a simple print statement that th this conversation was added to memory. And now it knows that we bought this Google Smart TV. Uh, what, what issue am, am I having? And then it should know that there's probably something about the also. Oh, yep, here we go. So based on the description of the horizontal lines, sounds like you might be experiencing uh, this problem. So then it actually um, it actually gives you steps. Uh, this is probably just uh, the AI knowing probably based on this TV. These are the steps that you should do to uh, maybe troubleshoot the problem. OK, that's great. Now, what I'm going to do is add another very simple conversation to it. Uh, this is just say, hey, in the Best Buy chat, just got rid of, rid of everything else. And it just says, I just wanted to chat with you. That's all this conversation, this conversation is saying. So let's go and run this again, because I want to show you something. Now, when we run this, it's going to try to add. It may add this conversation to memory. I know I had the printout, but that doesn't mean it actually adds it into mem0. So if we go back here, we refresh this. You see, there's still only two memories It because the that chat, that conversation that I gave it, it didn't see anything relevant that it should add to the memories. So it's still, as you can see here, these are the only two, well, this is the only conversation that it decided to store. And from this conversation, there were two things in there that it created a memory of. But whenever I just said, hey, I just want to chat with you, 
it said, you know what, this isn't really anything relevant, let's just skip this. And this time I changed it to say, hey, my name is Tyler, just to give you one more example. And this, to me, it seems like this is an important piece of information. Now I have the customer's name. So whenever it goes to add the conversation here to the user ID for the Best Buy chatbot, let's go back and we can see if this actually added to a memory. So, and it did. So after I refreshed it, the memory is created, the name is Tyler. So this was the actual whole conversation and it took this piece of information saying, hey, name is Tyler, that is something important that we should know about. I think this is really powerful because it's deciding on its own what is important from the conversation, if anything at all. Then you can just simply retrieve uh, all the memories and then see if there's anything relevant in there based on what the customer is asking. This is really tailored for interacting with your customers. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and leave any comments down below on your thoughts about MemZero or if you've already been using it or this is the first time you've heard of it. Here are some other videos that you can watch and I'll see you next video.